In this video, we will be studying about the Lorentz curve. Now, Lorentz curve is also the other method you can use to find out the measures of this portion or the measure of variability of the statistical series. This curve was first used by Max Lorentz. So, it is named after him and it is named as Lorentz curve. So, Lorentz curve it is a measure of deviation of actual distribution from the line of equal distribution. Now what we do in the Lorentz curve, we simply uh, find out the x and f that is the uh, frequency and the x variable. We will find out the cumulative sum of the both and then the percentage from it. Then we will draw the percentages on the graph. So let's see this with the help of numerical. Now the income is given to us and the frequency is given to us. So first of all what we will do, we will find out the cumulative income that is the x variable and we will find out the cumulative frequency that is the f variable. 100 plus 200, 300, 300 plus 400, 700, 700 plus 500, 1200, 1200 plus 800, 2000. After that cumulative frequency, 80, 80 plus 70, 150, 150 plus 50, 200, 200 plus 30, 230, 230 plus 200 is 250. Now what we will do? We will find out the percentage, cumulative percentage, percentage of income. Similarly, the cumulative percentage of number of person or the frequency. Now, how you find out? the percentage the total value is 2000 right so the percentage is founded by 100 divided by the total person cumulating income in 200 so it is 5 similarly we can find out 300 Divide by 2000 that is total into 100 which is 15 then 700 divide by 2000 into 100 which is 35 then 1200 divide by 2000 into 160 then 2000 divide by 2000 into 100 is 100. Cumulative income percentage. Now the cumulative percentage of the frequency in the same way. Cumulative frequency divided by the total frequency into 100. So 80 divided by 215 to 100. Which is 32. Then 150 divided by 215 to 100. Which comes out to be 60. Then 200 divided by 250 into 100 is 80. 230 divided by 250 into 100 is 92. 250 divided by 215 into 100 is 100. Now we will make the Lorentz curve. We will take it on the scale of 1010. 
on x axis we will take the frequency percentage of persons now we will take the percentage of income here that is the x variable we will take it on the scale of 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 Similar same way here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Now we will plot these corresponding frequency. See when 100 and 100, right? The percentage, cumulative percentage of income is 100. Same way the cumulative percentage of frequency is also 100. So this is the point 0 and 0. So we will, what we will do, we will join this straight line. This is known as the line of equal distribution. Now what we will do, we will plot the graph. Again, see when your cumulative percentage of income is 5, your cumulative percentage of frequency is 32. So 32 and 5 will be somewhere here. Right? Your cumulative frequency is 60, so your cumulative percentage of income is 15. It's 15 and it's 60. So somewhere Then it's 80 and 35, 35 and 80, so this. Then it's 92 and 60, 60 and 92. And then 100 and 100 is this point. So we will join this curve with the points. These were the points. This what we made was is the Lorentz curve. Now, the nearer the Lorentz curve to the line of equal distribution, there is less variation. Like nearer curve. to the line of equal distribution has less variation. Let's suppose if the uh, Lorentz curve is this, which means there is high variation. So, which mean the, which one is away from the Lorentz curve or uh, line of the Lorentz curve which is away from the line of equal distribution is more variable have high variation whereas the Lorentz curve near, near to the line of equal distribution has less variation. So in this way you can find out the measure of dispersion. So I hope you like our video. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.